Hello and welcome to another exclusive property video with Peter Clark in Leamington Spa. Here we find ourselves at the fabulous Lem Road, just off Mighton Road at the Leamington end, located with an easy access of Leamington and Warwick Town Centres, the local amenities and the fantastic local schooling. Here we have a three double bedroom detached home situated on a lovely plot and affording ample off-road parking with an integrated double garage. The property also benefits from family bathroom and principal bedroom en suite, as well as having three well-proportioned reception rooms, kitchen breakfast room, utility and guest WC. Let me show you around. So starting off, as I said, you've got this large driveway leading up to the double garage, gated side access to both sides of the property here as well. And we've also got this lovely front lawn. Those of you who know Lem Road, know that it doesn't really need much of a description but it is a really really fantastic and quiet cul-de-sac located just off the fabulous Mighton Road. So let's head in to the entrance hall. As you can see the entrance hallway itself is big enough for a full-size uh, stand-up piano and we have from here stairs rising to the first floor landing the door in the corner over there leads through to the kitchen. Behind the stairs, we've got the utility and guest WC. Off on my right, we have the living room and the study. Let's start off at the front of the property and we'll show you the study. A really adaptable room, this. Fantastic size, with a large double glazed window to the front elevation. As I say, currently being utilized as a home study. It would make a great downstairs bedroom if you need that. Second sitting room playroom, whatever you need to be honest, but it is measuring somewhere in the region of 12 foot square this room, so it's a really great size. If I can just peek around the corner as well, you can see that there's a three seater sofa in here as well as all of this office furniture, so it really is a good sized room. Right, backing out of there, we'll head into this fabulous formal sitting room. And in here, you can see we've got two armchairs a lovely three-seater sofa as well as a two-seater and there's still ample space in here that wonderful centrally mounted feature fireplace which has got those lovely stained glass windows either side of it and it's a gas living flame effect fire in there as well and then we've got double glazed windows and patio doors leading out onto that paved rear terrace and lawned garden beyond and again the proportions on this are absolutely fantastic something in the region of 20 foot plus by I believe 16 foot at its maximum measurement if memory serves correctly. And this then opens up through that large aperture there into a formal dining room. The beauty of this of course you could put doors on here if you wanted to completely to be completely separate but of course it could also be a fully open space if so desired. Through there, the doorway at the end also leads into the kitchen breakfast room. But let's talk about this dining room. So as you can see, huge dining table here. Only six chairs around it at the moment, but it can comfortably take eight, no problem at all. You've got access through to the kitchen, as I said. And of course, you've got that glazed wall there leading through into the entrance hallway. So again, that could all be opened up if so required. Large double glazed window to the rear elevation showing up that beautiful laundry garden. Look at the greenery behind as well. It really is a great spot. So there's no one staring back at you. Very, very quiet position. So backing up now, you can see the dining room from a different angle. You can see just how big the space really is. If I just spin around here, we'll head into the breakfast kitchen. And this comprises a range of wood fronted wall and base mounted units with contrasting granite effect work surfaces over. We've got a one and one half bolt stainless steel sink and draining unit in here. There's space for an upright dishwasher, freestanding cooker, and on the right hand side of me as well, a large upright fridge freezer. There is an integrated extractor fan there, and of course, we've got ceramic tiling to all splashback areas. I'm sure you probably noticed as well, they've also got a breakfast table in here. So there is room for a bit of informal dining 
and you've got that lovely large window looking out onto the rear garden. Off on the right hand side is the door leading out into the entrance hall again. And if I spin around, you've got a side access door which leads to a covered porch area. On the right hand side of that is the boiler cupboard. And then that door there opens up into a pantry storage cupboard. But let's head back through into the entrance hall. Useful understair storage cupboard there, and that fills the whole of that aperture in there. So you've got loads and loads of storage space for coats and bags and things. And then dual purpose utility and guest WC in here. So space and plumbing for both washing machine and tumble dryer, an obscured double glazed window to the side elevation. And of course, pedestal wash hand basin and low level WC. So let's have a quick recap of the ground floor. We had the study, the huge living room, great size, formal dining room, breakfast kitchen, utility and guest WC. Of course, that lovely entrance hall with enough space for a piano as well. Heading on to the first floor, large window to the side elevation there. And if I just pan around, you can see just how big this landing space is as well. Big airing cupboard straight ahead of me, and there is a loft space above us as well. And as I said, we've got three bedrooms in this property and they are all really good doubles. Let's start with the principal bedroom. Sits at the front of the property and looks down the lane. But as I said, we are a quiet cul-de-sac here. If I pan round, as with all of the bedrooms, they all have integrated storage furniture. This one has the best of all of them, having four double-fronted built-in storage wardrobes with under, um, underslung chest of drawers there as well. And to the wardrobe fronts, I believe this bedroom is something like 14 and a half foot. So it's a really, really long room. From here, we've also got lovely ensuite featuring low level WC. In here as well is a vanity unit mounted wash hand basin and an enclosed shower cubicle with mains fed shower. Now, because of the style of the property, we also have loads of Eve storage. So there's a little Eve storage area just in there. But if I pan round from here, on the right hand set of double doors there, behind there is a full size door opening up into a, effectively a box room. There isn't a window in there at the moment, but you've got good floor space. It's fully boarded and insulated, and it can be a really, really great storage space. But it also means potentially you could push this room further back if you want to take those wardrobes out and change the access. Right, back into the landing. Let's go into the next bedroom. This one has a full-size double bed in here, but we also have two double-fronted built-in storage wardrobes as well as enough space for a full-size desk. There's also another full-size wardrobe here. And of course, the obligatory IKEA display shelving. So to the rear, we've got lovely open aspect looking out to all that greenery, which is absolutely stunning. And as I said, this is a really, really good size room. Comfortably housing that full-size double bed and that could go off the current wall, the wall on my right hand side. You could even, I'd hazard a guess that you could fit a double bed in that space just there as well if needs be. So bedroom two. On my left hand side is the family bathroom. This comprises a three piece white suite with low level WC and dual flush, pedestal wash hand basin and a panel bath, which does have Mains fed shower over as well. Ceramic tiley to all splashback areas. And you've got central heated radiator in there as well as a heated towel rail and then an obscured double glazed window to the side elevation. Back through onto the landing. There is a loft space above us as well and I'm told that's part boarded. And then we'll go into bedroom three. Currently housing a full size single bed but could comfortably take a double as well. In fact, it's pretty much the same size as the room next door. And again, two large double-fronted built-in storage wardrobes. 
you've got ample space for chest of drawers, office furniture, bedside tables, and again, display shelving. Another rear facing double glazed window, looking out onto all that greenery as well. So let's head back through and we'll have a recap as we go down. So on the first floor, we've got three large double bedrooms, family bathroom, principal ensuite, and loads of Eve storage, as well as a decent sized loft space. On the ground floor, three reception rooms, breakfast kitchen, utility and guest WC, and this wonderful reception hallway. And then outside we had loads and loads of ample off-road parking on the block paved driveway and the attached double garage. To the rear, we've got a fantastic, oh, the sun's gone in, a fantastic lawned rear garden with gated side access to both sides. Let's see if I can get a, a full width shot here. So I'm not stepping on the lawn. This is a little bit damp today, but you've got a large lawned area, lovely block paved terrace patio and then fencing all the way around to three sides. As I said, behind me, we've got, I spin past the, uh, the guinea pigs. We've got secure gated side access, which is a really good width, and then a slightly narrower side access on the other side. Let's head down the, uh, the patio and I can show you the house. And there we have it, folks. Lem Road, just off Mighton Road, on the Lemington end, with an easy reach of all of the local amenities and those fantastic local schools. I think you'll agree, a fantastic property available exclusively through Peter Clark's. If you have any further questions relating to this or any of the other properties on our books, please do feel free to give me a call on 01926 429 400. My name's Matthew Coral. Thank you for watching.